everyone and welcome back. I'm the Game Beaver with another episode of <laughs> Jurassic World The Game and today I have no coin so we're gonna make a point of collecting all of this and the, but the thing is if I really become like hard up for coin I could always sell all of these John Hammond statues and in fact there seems to like th it looks like there's never gonna be an update. I know what's gonna happen and go there's gonna be an update when I sell all of my statues. It's gonna happen and I'm gonna be friggin' annoyed. <laughs> but what can you do? Any? Ooh, we got something hatched. But today we're gonna be focusing on uh, just seeing what's in here for a second. And uh, ooh, we'll get some of that. Ooh, piece again. Ooh, definitely not doing that one. That's definitely not worth it. And ooh, the Giga. Right, we're gonna be focusing on the other hybrid that came out with Urlophosaurus. And I've had uh, comments of you guys telling me that this hybrid in particular gives Carnoraptor, one of my favorite hybrids, a run for its money. So I'm like, really? Oh, okay then. So I mean, I, we have to go check it out because Carnoraptor is one of the dinosaurs that is well worth its weight in gold. Uh, just gonna, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, we're gonna put you back in the hangar. Uh, there you go. So we can fuse. It is this. It is a Tapijara with Monolophosaurus. Two rares to create a rare hybrid. Um, and I've, I mean, like I said, I've heard this is really good. We're hopefully gonna max it. We're also gonna be taking part in some events uh, with this creature. Here it is, one star. Ah! It does have the Monolophosaurus head, actually, with the slight crest of the Tapijara. So it's a flyer, of course, as you can tell, it's got wings. It is the Tapi. The Tapajalosaurus! Tapajalosaurus! Tapagulosaurus! And isn't it cute? And you also realize that since filming the last video, we're also on to 84 million after being on 24 million or something like that uh, food. And that's because there was loads of trades for uh, coin for food. It was like 47 million coin for 23 million food. So hell yeah, I was doing that. So we'll feed you up to level 10. 814 health. 254 attack. And what is the motto, guys? Never get a hybrid unless you can afford to get a level 20. Because usually, in cases with hybrids, um, you'll end up with a dinosaur that at level 10 is not as good as each individual creature. Or at least uh, it might be better than one, not as good as the other. In this case, I'm pretty sure 814 health and 254 attack is better than both because they are both equal. They are both rares. In some cases, if it's T Rex and Raptor, like Indominus Rex level 10, I'm pretty sure it isn't as good as a T Rex. But I mean, level 20, it's better than both combined, really. So, what should we do? Go to the market and get another one. 8,520. Uh, DNA, which means we have to, you know, seven times that by seven in order. So we're gonna be on like a hundred thousand DNA. How pitiful! Um, but what I am curious about is its counterpart, the Carnoraptor, um, because now we've unlocked it, we can see what it's like. So there's Carnoraptor, and there's Almoxie. So it costs about. 800 more, I'd say. I mean, if it's a thousand two hundred less, two hundred, uh, seven hundred and. Uh, 790 more, I think it costs. I could be wrong, but I mean, that's my estimate math at a game. <laughs> like, within a short period of time, that's my estimate. So it, it's, it's okay, but what do you get for that? You get an extra 600 and, oh sorry, 599 health and 14 less attack. So for 14 less attack, you get 600 extra health, basically. But it does cost an extra 700 DNA. So in total, times 7 by 7. Oh god, we're doing this again. Is it... is it... uh, 42? Was it 42? Oh god. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think it's 49, isn't it? I think it's 49. Anyway, either way, we're not being math here. We're not at school. Uh, I think it's 49. So you're gonna have to spend, like... 4,900 extra DNA on the Tapajalosaurus, which I guess, you know, it can't get you a single Conrad or a single Tapajalosaurus. In total, I would say this is... It, oh, I tell you what, actually, somebody compared it to this creature. Um, where is Skeletor? Meow! So Skeletor costs 7,130. We'll put them both side by side. So we'll put uh, the Tapajalosaurus side by side with the um, Skeletor. And uh, Skeletor... <laughs> Has 2,100 health. And Tapijalosaurus has 3,000. 
The Tapu Genosaurus has what? How much attack was that? 940. And Skeletor's 805. <laughs> For some reason, Skeletor being a super rare hybrid is worse than a rare hybrid. I don't know what happened. Skeletor at one point was really good, and then it got completely nerfed, and now it's pants. And it's it should be a rare for some reason. But to get Tropogathosaurus, or Tropoga Tropogonathosaurus, I can't even remember what it is, now I think about it. Was it you? Yeah, it's a super rare and a common. So, I mean, technically, it should be a rare. If you think about it, its its DNA cost is about a rare hybrid. So why on earth is this thing not a rare? Why did they make it a super rare? I think they made a mistake. If we see an update or a patch at some point that makes Skeletor a rare, I'd be quite happy because it would make sense. At the moment, it kind of annoys me that it's a super rare and you've got rare hybrids better than it. So maybe that needs fixing. But let's go to the market to buy another one and see. I mean, a level 20 is... is the, is a bargain. It's a bargain. You pay like 8,000 extra DNA, you feed it up, which food is, it's quite easy to come by, and then you speed it up and it's, it's not done in one, and then you're like, right, that's it, I'm never playing this game again, and you quit and get a life. <laughs> no, life is here. Life is here. Always here. Watching beavers. <laughs> so you go, level, uh, level 11, a little bit more color, and we'll feed it up to level 20. 1,300 health, 436 attack. So we're talking about, you know, on pars with pretty crap legendaries. And if you think about it, that's probably about right, I would say. But that's not its true potential. We can go even further beyond. So let's do exactly that. Um, we're probably going to be put at about 200,000 DNA, I would imagine. Um... Because we've got to buy... Actually, then we've got to fuse them, don't we? So we'll quickly... Oh, don't sell. Don't sell. That was that was habit, actually. Because now you can speed up. You can speed up the incubation and then place. I've been doing that. I've just been putting rare after rare after rare in my incubation and selling them because I don't need them. I'm just trading them for DNA. So, you know, in a day, I can get about three to 4,000 DNA just by... Because I've got... If you look at all my rares, I've got loads of them. I'm just grinding them. Always just two incubations. If I put the third or the fourth, that's a waste of books. So there's no point doing that. I put it in the first two incubators. One, two, one, two. So we need another three, I think, if my math is to be correct. One, two, three. That should bring us just over 200,000 DNA. It should. It should. This is probably... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like being this low on DNA, even though... Oh, no. Well, there's John Hammond. Well, I'll sell you, buddy. Uh, even though, you know, 200,000 DNA is still a lot. So I think that's it, actually. I think we may have got one extra. Hold on, seven. We Yeah, we need one more, we need one more. I hope we do, otherwise I've just wasted 8,000 DNA. <laughs> we could sell it, I suppose. So there you go. So let's feed all of you guys, we're on 83 million. So feed you, feed you. But what I want to do, actually, is, I mean, level 10 is not going to be used in any of the battle events, but we're going to use this guy in all of them. Because when you fuse a dinosaur together, when you fuse, um, a, like, the two level 10s to make a level 20, if you've used both those level 10s in the battle arena, in this, then it doesn't count. It thinks it's a new creature and it's already reset, so that's what we're going to do. Also, we have the Hatchling League for Zalmoxis happening in half an hour. But, I mean, that'll be a separate video, and I honestly don't think there's any need to cover it in here, because we've got the first VIP event in the new UI, as well as, um, like, these guys. We've got What Lies Beneath as well. And this VIP is five, so we're going to use this all here. It's basically a showcase of this, this new creature, this guy. So, uh, I think level... We'll, we'll do level 20s. And then we'll use it in the, uh, legendary. In the VIP arena, I mean, sorry. My bad, we're getting tongue-tied. So yeah, I hope, like so glad that you guys really enjoyed. Cause uh, I don't know this. This might be tonight's video. I think it's gonna be tonight's video. Uh, yeah, thank you again for all the support Jurassic News received. It was so overwhelming to see the response. Like within 20 minutes of it going live, it had a thousand likes. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna have like. And then within another 20 minutes, it had another two. Th it had another thousand, so it was on 2,000 likes. And then within 24 hours of it going up, it had 10 thousand likes. I couldn't believe it. You guys are awesome. So, uh, I mean, we're, we're, 
This channel was built upon Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. So, of course, we're going to cover every update that comes out, as well as with the game. I hope you guys liked all the little skits and stuff from that video, from Jurassic News, from going from concept to finished piece that uploaded to YouTube. It took a whole 24 hours. Three in the morning from the previous night to three in the morning upload. That's how long it took. At the three in the morning, I, um... I created the ideas, I started writing down the concept because it was late at night, but, you know, when creativity hits you, it doesn't care what time of day it is, it just comes, so you've got to be prepared. Um, and, yeah, and then filmed during the day and got it all done, luckily within one, like, clean session. No, I didn't have to add anything or forget anything, which, you know, is quite easy to do. So, let's see whereabouts you are, Mr. Rare Hybrid. Europe, yeah, look at that! It's 300 less than Sukumimus. But a level 31, oh, yeah, it, level 20 just below a legendary status. Um, however, I don't know if it could be really used against these creatures. Uh, because one of them's a big anchor friggin' Ladarkus. So we need something that can get about 2,000 a attack on it. So we could put in Prytrodon. We'll put in Prytrodon and then we'll put in uh, two Zalmoxies, I think. That's about right, I would say. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So that should be more than enough. Probably Prytrodon is good enough to take on all of these. But saying that, Sopranosaurus. Is it Sopran? Sopranotitan. Da -da 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 -da. Um, is still pretty darn opposing. So we'll uh we'll we'll take it how it goes. Conrad to level three. Conrad is so good, and I'm so glad we're gonna have another one. This uh Tapigellosaurus. Two hits, oh okay. That's okay, that's okay. We'll go for four reserves and one attack just in case. Ah, oh, we do so much damage. Less than half of his health left. Right. Uh, we should have... We've got this. We've got this. Even if he kills us, which he does. Then it's on to you, Tapigellosaurus. Also, we need to do the, like, the battle arena. Like, oh, I don't think we can anymore. The outdoor battle arena, because now it's all Cenozoic. No, I love that arena. No, oh my god. I didn't even think about that. It's gone completely. That outside with the waterfall and the electric fences. Oh, no. I hope they bring that back. Because right now, all you, in the PvP, all you can do is Cenozoic versus land or aquatic. So that kind of sucks. Maybe they'll bring it back. They've got to bring it back. But saying that, they took out um, friggin' Argentinosaurus's old model and never brought that one back. So... 8,700 attack for a full-on 8 at level 20. Yum, yum. Tongue still goes out of the mouth for some odd reason. I don't know. I don't think I've seen a Pteranodon that doesn't do that when it attacks. So they still need to fix that tongue. It's, it's been... Like, that was one of the earliest things I noticed, and it still hasn't been fixed. Other things have been, but uh, that hasn't. So we'll get them level 30 now. We've used two level 20s. We could use another two level 20s, but we'll not because they're not really too terrific, I've got to admit. Especially against those uh, opponents. We need, we need stronger! We need Dr. Wu to put his crazy genes inside! And then he can drink amber colored tea. Yum, yum, yum. So that is a, that's a level 30. Oh, look at it! It looks so cool! Mmm, toes. That's me! And get you to level 30 as well. Then we'll, we'll max these guys up to level 30. Use them. And then uh, max them again. And use them for the final battle to make a level 40. They should be really good. I kind of want to put Conoraptor in a team as well. So we do have over 200,000 DNA so far. And it's not going to... It doesn't cost too much to speed up the... Uh, or to do the DNA anyway. So There it is. A 3 star. The maximum gets a 5 star of a rare hybrid I think. So there you go. 2,125 health, 664 attacks. So it is miles better than any regular legendary carnivore or legendary creature. Where So yeah, if you're thinking about, if you have the DNA and you've done the math, instead of saving up for a T-Rex, it's possible that maybe this is best because it's only rares that you need to hybridize together. It's gonna be, this creature is gonna be one of them that takes you all the way through the game. Even end game status like we're at, like I'm at here, where we've got loads of maxed really good creatures, you're still gonna use this. The same with Carnaraptor, he's gonna help you out so much. So if you're looking for a good staple of your team, Tapigellosaurus or a even more bargainy, Carnaraptor, I would suggest. So let's take it to a battle. VIP. So where are you now, buddy? 
There's Conoraptor. There you go! It's e Yeah, it's better than level 40. It's on par with a level 30 Trodon. That's a tournament creature. I'll have you know. Uh, so, 600 attack. They're gonna need some help, I think. They need a good herbivore to take on Pterodostro. A good herbivore. Hmm. Something that has about 900 attack. Oh, Ankylodocus! And there, put those two guys in. And that... Oh, no, it doesn't! Ah, oh, balls! <laughs> I completely forgot. Whap! I thought I thought... Oh, it gets 50%, not double attack. It gets 50%, you idiot. God! Well, attacking for two is probably only blocked for one. Oh, blocked for two! You lucky son of a gun. If you block for two again, I'm going to kill you because I'm going to have three. Oh, there you go. It's over. We got. To, we can go for two attack and one reserve because there's no point really keeping Ankylodox in. We want to see Tapajulosaurus. Awesome. Rajasteger. A really good hybrid, but I would... I'd probably suggest Indominus Rex, because Indominus Rex is better. Is it isn't that, is, I think it is. Because Rhygostega is Rhygosaur, which is a rare, sorry, super rare, and Ichthyostega, which is a, a legendary. So yeah, I, if, if you are going to get a good um, carnival hybrid, I would suggest Indominus Rex. One, it is Jurassic World, and two, it's better than Rhygostega. It's, it's worth it. I think it may cost a little bit more DNA, I'm not sure, actually. But it's better in the long run. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna splash your DNA out, do it in Indominus Rex. So um, I don't even know how many he went for actually. Go for four reserve one block. Oh, he went for full out attack. We could have killed him. <gasps> Instead, he kills us. No. <laughs> right, last one. Tabajulosaurus. See, these are these friggin' Tabajulosauruses have seen battles before they hybridize to become one mega flyer. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go for three block because Mastodonosaurus is max level and he may have a thousand attack and he could kill us in two if that's the case. Oh, I could have went for two block and I could have went, I could have went for two block, two reserve, but you never know with these things. And that's it we won because he's only got one block and we do about a thousand attack. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we do exactly the same amount of damage as we did. And level 20 going for 8. It was about 8,000, I think. I think it was about 8,000. So that's another 50 DNA. And now, what's our next opponent's? Oh, 1,300 to 1,600 attack. Jesus. Okay, it's about time we fused you together. Oh, first time. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. You see, they saw battles. They were like, we need to transform. Oh, it's a four star. You can't get a five star. There it is. Maxed up. Look. Oh, it's got a green uh, tinge to it. That's quite cool. Oh, awesome. You look very moldy. You've got spikes on the back. Your crest is bigger. Very pretty. And let's feed you up to level 40. 3,000 health. 940 attack. So it's not really on par with what we're going to face. That's for sure. It's going to need some backup. But it cost about... Three, about six million food to feed, so not too much. Uh, six million food is still quite a bit. Late game, it's not, but, uh, you know, if you're still progressing and you're feeding on loads of other creatures, it kind of is. So, uh, let's do that. Let's take you in. So, where are you now, buddy? Carnoraptor status? Oh, it's better than... Well, I mean, it, I guess it has to be. I think with this, it's mainly health that, um, determines whether a dinosaur's better. Because look at that, Antarctic Pelta and Uteranus... 956 attack, 754 attack, but it has loads more attack, uh, health. It has about like 200 extra attack, but because it has a thousand health, yeah, that's how they calculate it, I think. So, we're gonna need some, um, some amphibolins. Uh, we'll put you in, and then Tapajulosaurus is gonna play a key role here. It's gonna be MVP to take out Gorgasuchus to allow, um, oh, hold on. We'll put in Metaposaurus, because he's going to be fodded off. And then Mastodonosaurus could finish the rest off. Come on, let's do this. Go for a block, because he can't kill us in two. If we block for one. He can, otherwise, yeah. Oh, yes, awesome, yes. Oh, this isn't going good. Um, we'll go for one block, one reserve, because he's going to have two again. We we kind of need him to switch out, and he's not switching out. Even though... Ooh, try to get a sneaky kill. 
Okay, uh, should we attack him for four? Ah, sod it. Did he go for a block? Yes! Awesome! We're doing really good! Getting the guesses on the go. Awesome. Yeah, he's, well, he's got nothing. Metamosaurus is actually gonna kill him. Because <laughs> he's got six and we can kill him in like three. Awesome. Wow, you... You're MVP, mate. You did great. Early game start and a kill. Got the reserves up and a kill. Really good. However, uh, Gorgasuchus is still not in and he goes for full on four because he can kill us. So it's up to Tapajillosaurus who may kill everything. We'll see. Bah! Jelly. Jellysaurus. Jelly sandwich. <laughs> we'll go for two block. Um, oh, we, we might be able to do it. Bam. I mean, I can't imagine the, like, the opponent's getting any harder. But if you have Pritrodon maxed and Gorgasuit just maxed, yeah, I could see it. Oh, no. Should we go for a full-on attack? Sonic, just go for it. Don't go for two block. Oh, oh, have we done it? Yes. Awesome. Nice. Didn't even need Prestosuchus or a Mastodon. Mastodonosaurus. Getting the DNAs back onto two left. Eh, Lophosaurus. <laughs> alright, alright. Calm down. Okay, yeah, we can't use um, Tapajillosaurus here. Prestosuchus. Mastodonosaurus. And Super Kool Aid. Good lord. It's going to be a battle to end all battles. The next battle is going to be just maxed Lophosaurus. I, I swear down. That's a big hit. But he's only going to have two and he can't kill us in one, which means we have to go for one block and two reserves. That way we survive as well as get as many reserves as possible. Always the key. Think about how many reserves you can get while keeping a creature alive. Usually that's the best option. So I'm going to go for that, which means we're alive no matter what. In fact, I could have went for two block, but I didn't know whether he'd have he used that block and he did. So uh, we could have even went for three block, two reserves. However, we may have died. So, he's got possibility of one block. Uh, I'm just going to go for an all-out here. All-out reserve. So, next time, hoping he kills me here and goes for... He, he, well, he, actually, he will, because four, four does kill me. Um, I, well, wait, no. That was only if he knew I had two block, which somehow he did. <laughs> all right, then. I thought that's all I had two block, but anyway. So, let's kill him with the least amount of goes possible, which is actually three. Oh, it's only level 23. I thought this was a maxed Erlophosaurus, actually, or Erlithosaurus. But Pritrodon's maxed. Oh, goes for full on four! Kills us! No! Ah, oh, we got this. It's Ostoposaurus next time and friggin' Gorgosuchus. So, he went for full on attack, I think. That kills him. You know what? Just in case he didn't. Just in case. Yeah, I thought he'd, I thought we would have killed him anyway, but just in case. Because he's only got 700 attack. <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes they don't even mouth. They don't even talk properly. There we go. Sprekers it English. So here we go. Just go for a full on attack. Just kill it. It only had two block. And there it is. Super Kool-Aid. In fact, actually, there was a um, Ludia posted. Uh, Kool-Aid, uh, concept art, which I'll put it right now. How weird would that have been? Like a rainbow Kool-Aid, that'd be awesome. So on to the final battle to win the legendary pack. And it is a maxed Earl Officer, um, uh, basically a maxed. They're all maxed, they're just differing in levels. So, we're gonna need to bring in the big guns. We're gonna bring in Metrophodon. Metri- Metriophodon, sorry, I always call it that. Um, Ostoposaurus, because he's pretty darn cheap. Um, in fact, actually, what I might do is switch them out. I'll do a quickie- a, a quick switch, bait and switch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick in Pterodactylus level 30 to switch in Erlophosaurus or Pytrodon. Ah, there it is! Ooh, can't kill us in one, but pretty darn close. Okay, the switch is in. Go for the reserves. Oh, didn't attack. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we're, do we're doing risky plays here, going for as many reserves as possible. And they block, so it's, it's actually paying off. Go for three. Go for three. Goes for two. We're actually alive and may have a chance to kill him. He's only got one block. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, he's got, he left with 40 if we attack for four. So we have to go for two extra and two reserves. He didn't go for a block, unfortunate, because uh, I did factor that in. But we're so far ahead, and we've killed one of them, that I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm safe, I think. He's going to go for three. He's got two block. Yeah, we've won. There's no way you're killing Metrophodon or Me Metrophodon. It's not happening, buddy. So he's got one block. One, two, three, four. Oh, yep. And there you go. Factored it in. Oh, no, you're two. Oh, no. That's enough. I think, I think Metrophodon can kill him. Super berries. Mega berries. Goes for, he's got one block. Okay. <laughs> Look at that attack. Oh, God. It's not looking good for us, actually, though. It's a bit touch and go. It depends what he does here. Um, one, two, three. If he switches in, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Yep. I was going to say, if he switches in Pritrodon, he's only got four and he can't kill us in one. Oh, it's getting risky. We can kill him in two, though. Now we're on six. Okay, we've got to cheat here. I'm not losing this one. Kill him in two. Lock for four, shall we? Now, that means he would have six. He can't kill us in two. Yeah, that's safe. Come on, we can do that. Oh, no, he blocked for one. Nah, not happening. Not happening. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we've won. I think if Gorgasu just comes in, he's going to have five. So we can go for three attack and three block. So one, two, factor in that one block. Then three of our blocks to block his five. So he only hits us with two. And he's only got a thousand, I think. Yep. And then we can kill him. If he attacks, though, that, that, that does depend. He does attack for full out. Oh, no, he's killed us. Oh, sugar. <laughs> I have been cheated and lost. No. Yeah, right. I know where I went wrong. We'll buy them back because I don't really care. I don't mind. Um, except we'll use Suchopterus this time. We use Suchopterus to switch in. Um, actually, no. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're, oh, we've got Pterodactyl. Why is Pterodactyl level 40 there and I haven't used it? Um, yes, yeah, sod it. Get him. Then we need a good amphibian. And our, our cheapest is Ostobosaurus, actually. I mean, like a good one with 1,300. Although, uh, saying that, Presta Suchus has 1,300 as well. And it's like 100 bucks cheaper, so we're putting you. And then, Met Metriophodon. That's got to do it. We've got to do this. Um, we'll, go for, we'll go for one reserve because Erlophosaurus can't kill us in one. Gorgosuchus can't kill us in two. We're good. Get that one extra reserve. Right, okay. So, we'll go for... Two block, one reserve. Because even if he's got three, he can't kill us. And if, he's, if he does go for two, he can't even touch us. Let alone injure. Oh, well, there you go. Awesome. Right, he's got nothing, so we can take one hit. So we'll do two block, two reserve. Because he's only going to have three. Come on. I know why I failed the last one, because I was being cocky. So, four reserves. We could go for two attack, but Presta Sutures has got this. Oh, he goes for full on three block. Come on, go for four. Go for four. That's what you need to kill us. Go for it. One, okay. Right, this is where it gets tricky. Um, Because we could attack, but then it's going to leave us vulnerable. Uh, I'm going to put in Presta Uh, One, two, three, four. And then factor in one just in case. Goes for three. God damn it. Right, I'm not cheating. We'll not cheat. We'll not cheat. He's got four. He can't kill us with four. Oh, switches. Is he going to attack for three? Attacks for one. That's okay. That's okay. Go on, you got this, son. You got this. He's got two block, possibly. I'm going to go for two. My two block. Ah, oh, I could have attacked and done damages. Goes for five. He's got one block. Okay. Whoo. One block. We can do this. We can do this. We only have to go for three. Actually, we have to go for four, I think. Three's not enough. So one, two, 
three. Factor in that one. And then four reserve. And then it's up to Metrophodon. We've got this. We can't lose this time. We've already done damage to Urlophosaurus. We kill it in... Actually, we, can't, we don't kill it in one hit with uh, Metrophodon. Oh, it goes for one. That's okay. We've got eight. We've won. There's no way I'm losing this now. No way. And... Yeah, there we go. Onto the last one. And Metrophodon has still not been in. Super berries. Mega berries. Berries. Nah. Got five. Five. Oh, goes for three. He's got two block and we've got eight. So yeah, it's it's over. I don't really need a level 40. Having a level 40 Metrophodon would be so overkill. And it would take ages to buy back. But having one would be amazing, though. Imagine that attack. That would be nuts. It just It's not needed, though. The only thing you need that attack for is Gorgosuchus. And you still take two hits to kill it. A level 30 kills in two hits still. So there is legendary pack. If you could have anything, DNA would be great. Uh, not food so much. Ah, oh, books and DNA. I'll take that. I've used a lot of books recently. Ichthyostega, not bad. A pretty decent amphibian. As well as 1,300 um, uh, VIP points. And we've got like six minutes till that starts. But who really cares about... Yeah, the only thing is here that it's... Oh, no. The live arena for the land creatures is gone. That sucks. I wonder why. Ludia, if you're listening, type in the comments below. <laughs> so enjoy this video, guys. Um, and hopefully I've given you a nice good overview of uh, a sort of what oh not not that, that, that's the one there we go what you need to know about um tapijulosaurus or like how you can use it if it's any good if it's worth it and what it can face up against so if you enjoyed this video guys leave a like and until next time i'll see you later bye, -bye.